1964, Doc Edgerton at MIT used a stroboscopic technique to visualize a bullet as it traveled through an apple. In 2011, researchers at MIT set their sights on a new goal, to capture light as it traveled through a scene. This technique was called femtophotography and used a half million dollars worth in scientific equipment to achieve this goal. We introduced nanophotography, which is a, essentially a multi-depth camera that has a, one application which allows it to visualize light as it travels through a scene. Time of flight imaging is an increasingly popular method of range imaging characterized by high frame rates. In a typical implementation, a square code modulates the illumination signal. The camera intensity measurement is a square wave that is shifted relative to a reference signal. This shift encodes the distance. Unfortunately, time of flight cameras fail when there are depth ambiguities, for instance, in the case of a transparency. We consider time of flight in the context of time profile imaging. Here, a single opaque wall has a spike at a single time slot. For a transparency in front of a wall, we observe two spikes, one from the transparency and one from the wall behind. Complex, non-sparse time profiles occur in specialized cases, such as in that of scattering. We consider sparse profiles. This can be modeled as a linear combination of impulses at the locations encoding optical path lengths. In our forward model, we send a binary code to the illumination. When we measure the return code, the shift encodes the path length and distance as before. In the presence of a time profile, the illumination code is convolved with the environment profile to provide the measured response. By deconvolving the measured cross-correlation function, we are able to resolve the sparse profile. Our implementation is simple, requires only a single modulation frequency, and can be implemented on commercially available hardware. Applications include light sweep imaging. You can observe the light hitting the vase and then the stuffed animal behind. Light then sweeps and hits the lion behind the Mario and then the back wall. Observe that the back wall shows through the vase which highlights the multi-path capabilities of our camera. Light leaves first from the specularities on the vase and then from the entire scene. We demonstrate additional applications including ranging of transparent objects, looking through diffusing material, and resolving multipath edges. So what happens is we have a light source, and this light source sends a pulse of light to the object in the scene and back to the camera. And this camera measures the time it takes for the light to go to the, from the light source to the object and back. Because light travels at a constant speed, we can measure the time of flight and therefore we can calculate the distance that light has traveled. Therefore, we can build up a three-dimensional object, uh, a three-dimensional view of the object that we are imaging. Now the problem is, if we have a transparent object in the scene, with the technology that we've developed here, we can measure the three-dimensional, uh, we can measure the depth of the martini glass and we can measure the depth of the toy line. So the time of flight camera has uh, many interesting applications and one of them is transient and femtosecond imaging. Uh, so what does it mean? It means that we can image things at ultra fast speed and it means also that we can make videos of light slices as light traverses. So how do we achieve it at such a low cost? Uh, we design a new camera which has hardware capability where light when it interacts with the scene and comes back uh, by using ideas from mathematics, we are able to uh, unsmear or deconvolve light paths. And having done so, uh, we are able to trace the exact path of light as it travels.